Hello, I'm Omar, and I'm going to briefly introduce our project. We worked on a simple implementation of a kind of security system that is mostly found in museums, where artifacts are surrounded by laser beams that trigger an alarm if cut, to prevent any case of theft or tampering. Our visualization of the system was as follows. A laser beam points directly into a light sensor, and a keypad is responsible for entering a passcode to activate and deactivate the system. When the laser beam gets cut, an LED will light up and an alarm is emitted through a buzzer. Hi, I am Mohab and I was responsible for connecting the Arduino with a light sensor, a laser beam emitter, a LED, a buzzer, and a keypad. We connected an external breadboard to the 5 volt bell of the Arduino to supply voltage to the laser beam emitter and the light sensor. The keypad is connected using 7 bells. The reason for this is that there are 4 bells that represent the row on the keypad and 3 bells represent the column. The LED Buzzer and keypad are connected to the general purpose bins to allow us to manipulate their inputs and outputs. Hi, my name is Khalid Sheikh, and uh, I'm here to demonstrate how the uh, how the, our uh, security system works. Uh, so this is our security system. Uh, the system is now on. We just uploaded the program on the Arduino, and I will cut off the laser uh, beam reaching the light sensor to see what will happen. So, when I cut off the laser beam, the uh, the LED uh, the LED uh, the LED turned on, and the buzzer uh, start start producing sound. So, just right now, um, I, I'm going to enter the code to the system so that uh, it will turn off. Uh, now the system is turned off. If we try cutting off the uh, the laser beam. Nothing will happen. Uh, and now uh, we will turn the system on again by pressing uh, star 9 hash. So now the system uh, is on again and uh, I will just uh, cut the laser beam one more time. Now, what if a, a thief tried to enter a wrong password? So the uh, light bulb and the buzzer will uh, start flashing. Now, to turn on the system again, we'll press star 9 hash and then press star 9 hash again to turn the system back on. Our coding logic was as follows. We constantly read the current value of the light sensor, and once it becomes a zero, that means the sensor can no longer sense any light, which consecutively means that the laser beam has been cut, hence the alarm gets turned on. If a person tries to enter an incorrect passcode, a low to high pulse is emitted three times to the alarm system, then the normal alarm is resumed. This system works in museums because usually the system would need to function in the museum's closing hours, which in most museums is at night. Moreover, any precious artifact would probably be in a closed up room for further protection, hence the only light source would be the laser beam. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.